What's up pumpkin heads? Let's take a look at five different methods of germinating seeds. We'll see how long they take and then let's uh, leave one in the window and put one under the grow light and see what a leggy plant looks like. You're watching Moby Mike Pumpkins on YouTube. And then spot number one here we got a south facing window. It's evening out but normally the sun will be shining in there. You can see we got a few plants here anyway but we'll try and germinate them here at room temperature in a window. A lot of people try that. We'll see how it works. So spot number two is going to be on top of the fridge. The thought is people do it a lot. We'll do a wet paper towel method up here is when your refrigerator runs, heat comes up from the back of it. It kind of traps it under the cabinet there. So we'll do that with the wet paper towel method. We will do the oven where we leave the light on in the oven. I tested that. It's running about 10 degrees hotter in the house. So just leave the light on. Make sure you put a note in there so someone doesn't turn it on while you're trying to, while you're trying to germinate your seeds in there. And then spot number three, I got a cooler here. And we put big pots for this one. So anyway, there's Christmas lights in there. It's on a controller and they're just for heat. You don't need light to germinate seeds. Anyway, the controller is set for 84, 85 degrees and the cooler keeps it insulated. So it's always running 84, 85. And so this would be my normal start method. Okay, spot number five here, we just got a heat mat on the kitchen table. I actually had to go borrow my neighbor's heat mat because mine burnt up. So that'll be the last spot we'll test there. So the seeds here, we've been soaking for about four hours. I just put a paper towel to push them down. Got a couple seeds for each thing. We're just gonna randomly put them in there. We're gonna just do the wet paper towel method on the refrigerator. So what we'll do is we'll wring this out and then off camera here, I'll straighten it up and we'll put a couple seeds in there. We'll put those on top of the refrigerator because you can't fit a pot in there. And then we will come back when uh, they all have sprouted. Okay, we mixed up some mix for seed starting. You can see a couple there I did, but just the main key I want to show you is that you don't get this over wet. What you do is you grab yourself a handful and you squeeze really hard. Let's see if I can show you there. It's hard to see. But you just see how it's just making like kind of the water's just coming out. So you get about a drop out of it, squeezing it real hard. Then it clumps up in a ball and then it falls together, falls apart. So anyway, that's what you want. You don't want it like super wet, super dry. And then we'll wrap these up in saran wrap so they don't lose the moisture. All right, we got our first seed of the test that germinated, just starting to poke through. And it was in the oven with just leaving the, the light on in there. So it has so far outperformed the germ chamber, crazy. So I like to get them under the grow light at this. You see, it hasn't quite popped up yet. It won't be, but if you left that another 12 hours, it would actually get leggy because there's no light in there. Other than that light bulb, but that's not plant available light. So get them under the grow light right away. We'll throw this one under the grow light and it should be good. And we'll keep monitoring them other ones. I'll check them about every 12 hours. Uh, just checked them all and this is the only one poking. There we go. Second seed in the oven germinated. Both in the oven germinated faster than everyone else. I can take my note off. I can cook pizza now. Whew. Thank goodness. It's getting hungry. All right. We got one in the germ chamber. That one looks like it's pushing a little bit, but not quite there. So we'll check that one later. All right, Sunday, 8.30, we got another germination in the germ chamber. All right, and Sunday at 8.30, we got both of them on the heat mat popped up. All right, last but not least, the window plants germinated eight days. And the quickest one before that was three, so five extra days by not getting a little heat on them. So anyway, there you go. Not the best option, but it did work. So here I pulled out the wet paper towel on the fridge after eight days. Um... Unfortunately, my refrigerator is not warm up top like an old refrigerator would be. It's literally room temperature. So it's just not a good test method for the paper towel. You can see they emerged. You know, we got roots here and these can be planted in the ground. These probably popped out actually a day or two ago. So it's not quite the same test as the soil. But you can see here, you can get the wet paper towel and get them to germinate. But if you do this under a heat mat, you can usually get that root to pop in 36 hours. So for them to take this long to j just to get the root out is terrible. But it's it's 64 degrees on my fridge. There's no heat up there. So unfortunately, that was a bad test for me. If you got a really old, inefficient fridge, like the heat from behind there usually heats that space up there, but just not so in my case. So anyway, that is a method you can do. Like I said, um, you can do this wet paper towel method on the heat mat. You can do it in the oven. You could do it in a germ chamber like I got. Um, that will work. I like doing them in soil just to show you some different methods there. So there's there's our results. Oven, we had 71 and 91 hours, germ chamber for an average of 81 hours. 
Germ chamber, we averaged 106 hours, heat mat about 112, and then the window is eight days, and then the fridge, we pulled these out at eight days. But like I said, bad result. Oh, and here's the temperatures I pulled. Soil temp was 81 in the oven. It was 80 in the germ chamber, 76 and a half on the mat, and then the fridge was 64, and so was the, so was, or sorry, the window was 64, the fridge was also 64. So even though the oven and the germ chamber are only one degree off, we had a, I might turn my germ chamber up a little bit. This this seed here just might have been a little aggressive. Plus this seed was closest to the light and I took the soil temp out of this seed and it was only one degree off. So yeah, I think I have some room. I could go up on temperature in my germ chamber. So there they all are. I You can't see much difference in them besides the window ones and obviously the ones I had in the germ chamber in bigger pots. I'm gonna grow them out a little bit bigger just to see how that, just to test that soil mix, but that didn't affect the germination on that. But so even though those heat mat ones were a little bit after that, they're really not that much smaller. I can't even hardly tell the difference because I believe those two are oven and those two are heat mat and the oven ones are quicker. And I think maybe with being closer to the light now, the these germ chamber ones have, have actually gotten a little bit bigger because they're in the bigger pots and closer to the grow light. But so yeah, basically the window sucks. And the other three methods are pretty good. Heat mat's easy. The oven you can do. You don't have to build a germ chamber and have pretty good results. All right, guys, we're done with the germination test, but let's go on to testing light a little bit. So this is my grow tent here. I still don't have this tuned in, and it's a different light, but it, it's a sufficient light for plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that guy right there, and I'm going to set him back in the windowsill. And then we're going to come back in a week and we're going to see what he looks like. Like right now, he's probably the best looking plant. He's a little bit, he's maybe a little bit smaller than these guys. But in comparison to these ones in the same pot, he's the best one. So we'll compare him to these other small ones in the pot here compared to the window. And we'll show you what that looks like. All right, here's our plants after the light test. There's our window plant. And then there's the one in the grow tent, same size pots. This was the best plant that I put in the window. And then this is the best plant that's left in the grow tent. And you can see here how long this plant's got. It's got what they call leggy. And the longer I leave that in the window and the longer I leave this in the grow light, the bigger difference you're going to see there. So it got leggy. Its size isn't terrible. It's still savable at this point. You could plant this, but if you held it inside another week, it'd be really bad. That was a south facing window. If you were to put it in like a north facing or a different direction, it'd be even leggier. Um, so keep that in mind. So now we can see here, this, this seedling was about the same size as these three. So these two are in the same grow tent, getting the same grow light. Everything got the same nutrients and water. But look how much bigger this one is than this one. Okay. You're almost twice as big. So this is a pretty small pot. I don't even know what size you would consider this, but you know, you can see my hand there for reference. Or this is a two gallon pot. So even though they got the same nutrients, just this bigger pot where the roots can explore more, find more nutrients. Um, this doesn't dry out as fast either. So you have a more even watering than like these guys got to be watered more often because they suck it up real quick. So just the size in the pot, look how much different this is. And then here's the difference between the grow light. So if you're going to hold them inside, this plant's about 16 days old, which is definitely not my best plant for 16 days, but it's pretty decent. Um, so this plant's about 16 days old. So, and I'm probably going to grow these till about another four or five days, but the amount of growth you're going to get from here to like day 21 is a lot because now the leaves are getting bigger and they can take in more of that light and stuff. So if you're going to grow your plants very big, you want to go with at least a gallon pot, if not a two gallon like this. If you're going to be small like that, you want to probably put your plant outside before that because look how much we've already stunted this plant. This one, this one's twice as big, so we've stunted that. So there you go. There's a difference between uh, the pot size, grow light, and then before that, we showed you the germination differences.